I'm able to see things you can't see with the naked eye. If you look at it through this, you can pinpoint exactly where the problem is as if you're looking at it with your own eyes. My name is Matthew Irwin. Been a BMW technician for 19 years. My name is Dave. I'm a former exotic and import technician. Um, I've been working on cars for almost 13 years now. My name is Michael McFarlane. Uh, I work at Ron Tonkin Toyota. Uh, I've been with the dealership for three years. I'm an expert level technician. My name is Jeremy Anderson. Uh, I'm a MDT for Toyota. I've worked for Ron Tonkin Toyota for 23 years. So far, the most useful thing I've found to use the TG275 is checking air conditioning systems, cooling circuits, and looking for engine misfires. The FLIR gun was a great tool. Uh, most of my technicians here at Ron Tonkin, they were using them for wheel bearings. Uh, a couple of them used them for the heated seats. We had a couple of heat heated seat failures, worked great for that, as well as some injector issues. We had some injector issues. They were able to pinpoint a bad injector with it. In like a motor, if it's having high resistance, you can see the actual temperature arising, and sometimes maybe you can't feel it if you were to touch it. So being able to see high resistance, either mechanical or electrical. I'm able to see things you can't see with the naked eye, like this thermostat assembly on this BMW right here. Sometimes these fail and you can't tell by feeling it with your hands because there's so much heat dissipation that it, everything feels the same. If you look at it through this, you can pinpoint exactly where the problem is as if you're looking at it with your own eyes. Using this on rotor diagnosis or brake problems, the outside of the rotor was a lot hotter than the inside of the rotor and that was due to a seized caliper. Now from physical touch, it's gonna feel hot inside or outside or not, but using this device, I was able to tell the difference in temperature between the inside and outside of the rotor. That pointed me towards a seized caliper rather than a locking up problem. The most helpful thing I think was uh, uh, the time frame. The time frame that it took to diagnose the job, like the, the injector issue, you were able to see that it was a corresponding misfire in its cylinder, and you could see that it was dead. It's able to detect temperatures that you can't detect with the naked eye or even feeling it. I mean, you can't even really put a price tag on it. When it comes to a certain problem on a car that you'd be spending an entire day trying to figure out, and you point this at it, figures it out in 10 seconds, you just saved yourself a whole day worth of labor. Time is a huge issue when you're working in a shop, uh, especially of this caliber. Guys want to get things in, get things out as quick as possible, but they want to make sure that their repair is done correctly. Mm -hmm. 